Hi. Oh, welcome on our practice today. First of all, during all the exercises, be gentle to yourself. Don't push to yourself too much. If it's physically too difficult for you, just stop it. If it's emotionally too difficult, just stop it. Don't push yourself. So, the slower you go in the practice, the quicker the progress will be. That's like a contrary situation. You don't want to go as quick as possible. You want to go slow and then you will be quick in the process, in a long-term process. Okay, so let's start with, with your feet on the ground. Take shoes, slippers, socks off. You can have a mat or just be on the ground. Mm -hmm. ah, bend your knees, bend your knees and let's start to move a little bit our pelvis. Just do little short rounds. Ah, breathe all the time through your mouth and a little bit of sound like ah, yeah, that's that might be weird for you at the beginning, but it's good in the long term and it teaches us to express. Mm -hmm. Let's start a little bit with our knees, just inside, outside, not too much, not too much, but just a little bit to move our body a little bit. Oh, and breathe, and breathe, in and out, and breathe. Oh, okay. We will need a bowl, a tennis ball or golf ball. I'll start with a golf ball. If you don't have any ball, it might be a piece of wood that you will stay on. So whatever you have, something like that at home, uh, just bring it. Make a pause now. So, assuming you have a ball, being on the left leg, Touch the ball with your feet, with your foot, and start to roll it, giving a little bit of weight over the dead foot. And ah, it will be kind of painful. It's the tensions in the leg, in the foot. So start to express it like ah, make the sound out. Don't try to control it. Don't try to stop the sound. Just make the sound. Like children who are complaining, like a little bit like ah, and go around your foot. Just we push as much as to feel discomfort, not to break our foot, just to feel discomfort. Ah, feel discomfort, which would mean that we touch the tensions. Ah, it's not only to feel discomfort, but to touch the tensions. Ah, yes, good. And then the other leg. Now we are on the right leg, the knee is bent, and we roll ah, underneath our foot. Ah, this time left foot. And complain, make the sound out. Ah. If you don't feel any tensions, you can put more tension on it, but more weight on it, sorry. Ah, check if your shoulders didn't go up, just relax shoulders and express it to the ground, like, ah, oh, complain, 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 don't stop it. Let that teach us to, to express it. Ah, there's a real reason there. Ah, but don't be too harsh for yourself. Ah, ah, yes. Oh, yes, okay. Then take the ball out, stay on the ground. Ah, yes, today we will work on the grounding qualities. That's our first practice, so we want to feel our ground better. Check how you feel your feet now. I feel more grounded on the floor. I feel better connection. Yes. Now, go on the edges. Outside edge 
of this leg and inside of that leg and try to relax ankles and go on the other edges relax shoulders bend knees don't be on a straight legs just bend the knees and relax ah breathe through mouth and back on the other edges ah yes and this edge again ah Good. Oh, and relax. Relax in this. Okay. One more time. Edge. Ah, in, outside, inside. And the other side. Outside, inside. Oh, good. Good. Shake your leg a little bit. Shake it. Shake it. Oh, good. Shake it. Oh, shake it. Shake it more. Shake it more. Oh, as if you want to get rid of, of something that is on your leg. Uh, oh, oh, yes. Ah, ah, oh, okay, good. Oh, yes, yes. Now we will go on the right leg bend and on the left will be straight and we will go a little bit down and feel the stretching in the back of the leg. Relax your, your neck oh, and breathe. Relax and breathe. It's not about pulling it strong, it's just to allow it to go down as far as you can. It doesn't matter how far you go, but to feel the stretching in the back of your leg. Oh, okay. And the other side. Don't push yourself. The other side. Oh, yes, beyond, bend me on the left leg now and feel the stretch in here. Even if you go like this, the, the aim is to feel the stretch, not to push yourself into stretch, but just through allowing it to go down, feel the stretch. Oh, oh great. And go up and go up. Oh, yes, our legs are more, a little bit more alive. That's what we want to practice, starting with legs to make them more alive, to make them more vivid, just feel them better. Now we will go to arch position, which is uh, being on the bent knees, feet parallel, about uh, shoulders width apart or hips width apart. Bend your knees and put hands on the uh, pelvis, on the lower back and push your pelvis to the front. <sighs> and so we, we, you can see it on the other video, I explained very uh, precisely. So just bend your knees and go with the pelvis up front. Look forward, don't look at the ceiling. Just look forward and breathe. Ah. Ah. Breathe out, make the sound out. Ah. Relax the jaw. If the shaking is coming, just allow it to shake. Allow it to shake. It's, it, it's just happening. If you don't feel shaking, don't worry. Just ah, try to put your elbows together, just in direction to together. Ah. Yes, and breathe. Ah. Make the sound out. Ah. Ah. Good, good. And now go down the same legs the same shoulder width apart shoulders width apart bend knees and let your body go down that's the basic grounding position the weight is more on your on your toes than on your heels allow your neck to go down relax hands relax shoulder blades relax shoulders 
and have your knees bend a little bit. Don't log it, just bend a little bit. Doesn't matter if you touch the ground or or not, just be as loosen in the upper part of the body as you can. <sighs> and then take your buttocks up to the ceiling. So without without locking your knees, go with the buttock to the ceiling. Knees up and a little bit. Neck is loosen. Shoulders, hands are just loosen. Oh, and breathe. And breath through mouth. Sound out. Ah. If you feel vibration, it's okay. If not, don't worry. It takes time for the beginners to feel vibration. Sometimes even a few weeks of regular practice. So don't worry. Ah. Just breathe. Allow yourself to breathe and to relax in it. Ah. Oh. As if you are in the waterfall, the water is going down from your back. And slowly bend your knees and go up. Oh, yes, feel it. Good. And now, beyond the, just go even lower with your knees but the upper part is straight and slowly go up with intention as if to push your feet stronger to the ground not to going from here up but pushing the floor and that's why we are going up go down heels on the floor and go up from the front Just go with your knees forward. Don't check if you are not going like this or like this. Just go forward and push with your feet to the ground and that's why you go up very slowly. So it takes like five seconds, like pushing, pushing, pushing slowly, but trying to push all the time, all the time, all the time. Don't do it like quickly. It's not the aim for it. The aim is to make your feet more alive and feel that you can push with that. Push, 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 push. Yes. And one more time. Push, push and breathe. Don't, don't close your throat. Ah, breath all the time. Slowly up, slowly up. You can feel the pain in your hip. Oh, oh, good, good. And at the end, just feel a little bit relaxed and just jump for a while. Oh, make the sound out. Everything, like shoulders, hands loosen. The hand, legs, oh, jumping. Oh, if it's difficult for you to jump, just, just go like this. Oh, yes. Oh, Yes, oh, 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 oh. and again, come to bend knees and feel yourself. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's the end of first practice. You can repeat it every day. It takes less than 15 minutes. So, oh. yeah. thank you.